Let's talk about a digital potentiometer with a SPI bus on there, serial peripheral interface. Now I'm using the MCP41010. It's a 10K pot. It has uh, 255 resistors in series and uh, 256 uh, steps we can step through here. Uh, this section here is called the uh, the wiper. Of course, it's all it's all silicon. And uh, if we uh, if we want to pick the center of the chip, we'll put in a value of 128, which is a half of the 156, and that should give us our, our 5K there. Now we can determine the uh, resistance on any of these uh, points here with this formula here. This is uh, the resistance between the wiper and say terminal A here will be uh, uh, 10K times the 256 minus our input number. We use 128 divided by the 256 again. So if we, we do this out here, it comes out to 5K. Now, there's a resistance out here in this wiper, and the spec sheet says it's around uh, 52 ohms. We'll see, see what arc turns out to be. So to program it, we're going to use a three-wire SPI. We're going to use chip select, which is here. You can use any uh, Arduino pin you want, but we're going to use pin 10, which is the default pin. And uh, then the data clock is going to be on pin 13 and the serial input is always pin 11 here. So this uh, chip select line is, is, is high all the time. We're going to take that low. We're going to enable the clock. We're going to send a command byte and a data byte through the uh, serial input. And when that's finished, we're going to take 10 and put it high again. So now in the Arduino code, they have uh, you transfer you do an SPI transfer and they'll write in here address and then you transfer the data so this address so we need to determine that on our uh, data sheet here this is on actually on page 18 and it's called the command byte they call it the address we're gonna it's they call it the command byte here it's eight bits the first two don't matter and then the second two bit determine what you want to do we're going to write data we don't want to shut it down or have no, no <laughs> do nothing so we're going to have a zero one here and then uh, zero zero here again and these two they pick the potentiometer we have no choice we're going to do uh, one the chip has only has one potentiometer so it'll be zero one here uh, y if you had uh, two potentiometers in a chip you could take a one zero which would pick the other one or one one which would which would pick both uh, chips so for us we're going to have uh, a binary number of zero 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 one zero 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 one uh, that that happens to be uh, digital 17 to 16th place and a one place or hex of uh, 11 so it's easier just to put the hex number in the uh, here so I, I transferred just this hex number you can do a binary or a digital but uh, this hex is, is easier to do. So uh, now what I did is I put it on my uh, project from last week where we had a uh, uh, rotary encoder and here's the so I'm putting this zero into the chip and uh, what am I getting here 65 or 62 ohms out here uh, spec sheet said 60 52 but uh, we're getting about 62 ohms here and uh, at zero let's start cranking the value up and uh, and see what we get here so we're at uh, 25 and we have uh, 0.8 K 800 ohms so let's go up to uh, 1 128 if you can see that or not so 128 we only have uh, 4k now I gotta admit that I uh, reverse bias this for a few seconds and I I think I cooked the chip I have another one order but uh, yeah we're getting we're getting 4k out of it so let's see what we have at uh, 256 so crank this up to uh, 256 and see what the uh, tops gonna be here went over so well eight uh, about 8k 
Yeah, so I have about a case of the 10K on there. But uh, that's a digital potentiometer. The only uh, thing you have to remember is that the uh, when Arduino calls for a, uh, to transfer an address, it's this command byte, and it's on the uh, in the in spec sheets for uh, depending on which unit you're using. But uh, yeah, put the command byte in there. Then this uh, that's the Arduino address, and you can do it in hex if you want. So uh, that's the only catch there. Um, anyway, that's a digital potentiometer. Uh, thank you.